It's amazing enough that we have gold medalist Kyle Schufelt in our city, but what's even more amazing is that he's opened a gymnastics center for kids. And just to have fun, Jill, that's what you're going to be doing this morning. Exactly right, as we always do when we get to hang out with Kyle. We like to have fun and lots of opportunity to have fun here at your brand new gymnastics center. Congratulations. Thanks, Jill. We're yeah. t-shirt twins today. I know. We're <laughs> matchy twinsies. Uh, well, it's great to be here, and I know that this has been some time in the making. So when did you initially conceive of opening a gymnastics center? Well, this has really been in the back of my mind since my success in, in Athens at the Olympics. Um, I realized that like the true value in that accomplishment was going to be found in using it as a platform to give back. But, um, you know, I've been really implementing, like grinding at this for the past year and a bit. Yeah. And, uh, wow, it's, it's happened. Here it's it here. is. Yeah. Here it is. You've been open for a couple of weeks, yeah. already a huge success. Mm -hmm. How many members do you have? We're, we're close to 500 members, and we're just seeing the interest grow. And we're really happy that we've been, been able to provide a space that people love and feel comfortable in and, and are learning gymnastics. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What kind of programs are you running here? You know, we have the whole gamut. We have all the way from babies through to kids. Kinder gym, parented classes, as well as recreational gymnastics. We also have some cross training programs, mm -hmm. and uh, we have adult gymnastics as well. So we're really trying to offer something for everyone. Awesome, adult gymnastics. Yeah. Uh, Kyle might put me through the paces <laughs> a little bit later. Now you would have grown up in a center similar to this one. This is your environment. What surprised you? What maybe caught you off guard, or what challenges did you encounter when putting this together? Oh wow. Well, it's one thing to be a gymnast and to show up and just get ready to do flips and swing on the bar. But as a business owner, going and searching and finding the right building and mm -hmm. finding investors and really just being on that business side, that's all been a new learning curve for me, but mm -hmm. it's been incredible. I've really felt a lot of support in this process. And this is something that Calgary needs. And for myself, I love Calgary. This is the city I grew up in. It was the city that supported me. And so I can't think of a better place to, to open the center and to give back. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. found that there was especially a need here in the Southeast. Oh, absolutely. In the Deep South, we're located in Douglas Glen, and if you look to the communities, Mackenzie Town, Cranston, Copperfield, Auburn Bay, Mahogany, there's so many young families, and there's just not enough places for them to go and to be active. And gymnastics is the fundamental sport. It's the ultimate beginner sport, I believe. Improves strength, flexibility, coordination, agility, air awareness. I'll go on and on and yeah. on. But this is something I feel every young person should do, and I think that we shouldn't just pinpoint it to young people. Adults should do it as well, and mm -hmm. it should be fun. So that's why we created this beautiful, colorful space for people to come and just enjoy moving their bodies. Yeah, it is awesome. It looks great. So congratulations. We're happy to be here all morning. And, you know, Kyle has said that gymnastics, you can transition into any other sport from, from this point. So uh, we're going to be learning some foundations. We're going to meet some other little gymnasts, maybe do some somersaults, maybe hop in the pit, Tara. That's going to be a good day. I've spent a lot yeah. of time in the pit, but I think it's probably a, a different kind of